Welcome back to Hightail Spins. How are you doing? I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the real reason that Hightail has been delayed. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Based on the wildly popular Hypixel Minecraft servers, Hytale is a sandbox RPG with many similarities to Mojang's block building Titan, albeit with a meaningful focus on player creativity, mini games, and single player content. With the game's release window approaching, we thought it would be the best to lay out all the information we have so far about Hytale for those curious about the project. Here is everything we know about Hytale and its delay. The release of the game was delayed at the last minute, and that's for a minimum of two years. Instead of February of 2022, it might even be delayed until March of 2024, possibly even 2025. The developers said they want to give their apology to everyone who is hyped about the launch and excited to play the game, but they had major hitches that caused a long delay. The launch is delayed by a minimum of two years. The excuse is the same as in other cases. In order to ensure all the smooth gaming experience, blah, 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 and so on. The creators of Hytale simply want to make sure the game is delivered in the best possible condition and on multiple platforms, not just PC. They want it to be delivered to consoles and PC, and for everything to be cross-compatible so you can play with people whether they're on PC or a console. Everyone kind of saw this coming, but we didn't really want to believe it. The developers were quiet for a very long time, and with few updates, that usually means there's a delay on the horizon. Well, it's not so bad. Two years will come and go before we know it. Hopefully there will be no more delays and we'll get the game in a couple of years. That's much better than three years, right? And we would much rather have a game that is fully working and functional rather than something that doesn't work but comes out tomorrow. We're sure you guys probably feel the same way. But let us know in the comment section down below what you think. But will it be worth the wait? Well, we think so. And you guys probably do too, otherwise you probably wouldn't be watching this video. Let's talk about what we can expect from the game. And oh boy, there's a lot. So get excited. It's definitely going to be worth the wait. According to Hytale's website, there will be a series of handcrafted adventure scenarios available at launch, including scenes such as a mage tower overrun with monsters, underground cave exploration, and giant boss battles. Hytale claims that no two adventures will be the same, and suggests that the procedural nature of the game will allow for a lot of replayability. Hytale is fully playable in co-op and encourages players to forge their own story. Settling into the world in a series of roles depending on your disposition. Warriors, assassins, and explorers, artisans, who knows? Everything's welcome to complement each kind of gameplay. Hytale will also offer collectibles that can be obtained by wiping out the unique creatures that rule over the game's many zones. You'll also be able to create custom characters, grow crops, raise pets, tame parties, and build cars. The game will also have anti-cheat mechanisms for its competitive minigame component, and Hytale will be designed with top performance on a wide range of PCs, even potatoes. Hypixel will offer its own official server to play the game on, but encourages players to forge their own communities with the game's shared source server code, which also means it's going to be incredibly moddable. You can easily search up YouTube to get first glimpses of the gameplay of Hytale. The combat in Hytale is significantly more developed than Minecraft, somewhat evocative of Skyrim's charge and fast attacks. It seems like magic is also going to be in the game, as well as functional quests. A preview by Edge Magazine revealed that the designers wanted to revolutionize the PvP industry that they had been working on with Minecraft. We want to distance ourselves from the spam-clicking kind of behavior that gave us a little more depth, explains content creator Sean McAfterty. The same article revealed a few other Hytale features such as treasure maps, bounty quests, and the fact that there are a number of different weapon families, from warhammers to long swords. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.